If you're new to coding, and you're feeling overwhelmed by all these programming languages, I totally get it, it's easy to get stuck by jumping from one language to the other. In this video, I will show you, the top 3 programming languages, and their salaries. These are the best top 3 programming languages to learn. I picked this results based on Google Trends and other studies. Now, of course only learning a programming language is not enough to get you into tech. So, you have to learn other stuff too. But I will leave that for another video. Now, before I continue with this video, please make sure that you hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell. Also share this video with someone who might be interested in this information. Now, let's get to it. Number 1. Python. What is Python? Python is a popular programming language known for its simplicity and readability. This means you write code in a human readable format and it is executed by an interpreter. It is a high level interpreted programming language. Here are some key points to understand Python as a beginner. 1. Python has a simple syntax similar to English, which makes it easier for beginners to learn. 2. It is versatile. You can use Python for web development data analysis, artificial intelligence, scientific computing, and more. 3. It has a large community. A large community means lots of resources, tutorials, and libraries to help you. According to Indeed.com, the average salary of a Python developer in South Africa is about 640,000 rands, which makes it about 45,000 rands in a month, which is equivalent to 2,400 US dollars. A lot of engineers, accountants, and scientists use Python in their daily jobs. Most importantly, anyone who wants to dive into machine learning and artificial intelligence should definitely learn Python. Professional software engineers use Python to build mobile applications, web applications, and desktop applications. But quite frankly, Python is not very reputable when it comes to building mobile applications and desktop applications but we will get to learn about the best languages for those type of applications in a moment. Python and a framework called Django are the best for building backend applications. And on top of that, Python code is very straightforward and free of clutter. Its syntax is way different from other programming languages, which is why it is the most appealing and easy to begin with. So if you're an absolute beginner or an artificial intelligence enthusiast, then Python is the best language for you. Language number two. Java. Let me explain to you what is Java. Java is a popular programming language that's used to create all sorts of programs. From mobile apps to large-scale enterprise systems, it's known for being reliable, secure, and platform independent, meaning a program written in Java can run on any device that has a Java virtual machine. Why learn Java? 1. Java is used everywhere, from Android apps to server-side applications. 2. It's a great language to learn if you want to understand the principles of programming. 3. It has a large community and lots of resources to help you learn. So, in summary, Java is like a toolbox that lets you build programs by defining variables, using control structures to direct the flow, creating methods for tasks, and organizing everything into classes and objects. According to Indeed.com, the average salary of a Java developer is $36,000 US dollars per year which is about $3,000 per month. Java was the primary language for Android app development for many years and is still widely used in the Android ecosystem. Banks and financial institutions use Java for building trading systems, risk management systems, and other financial applications due to its performance and robustness. Some game developers use Java for developing games, especially mobile and indie games. Java is also used in cloud computing for building scalable and robust cloud applications. Many universities and colleges teach Java as an introductory programming language due to its simplicity and ease of learning. Overall, Java's versatility and widespread use make it a popular choice in many different domains. Last but not least, let me tell you about the most popular programming language in the world currently. JavaScript. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a programming language that's primarily used to create interactive and dynamic content on websites. It's one of the core technologies of the web, along with HTML and CSS. JavaScript code can be run in a web browser. You can write JavaScript directly in an HTML file inside script tags or link to a separate JS file. Why learn JavaScript? 
1. JavaScript allows you to create interactive elements like forms, games, and animations. 2. It's used on both the client side in the browser and the server side using environments like Node.js. 3. There's a large community and many resources available to help you learn and solve problems. So, according to Indeed.com, the average base salary of a JavaScript developer equals to about 106,000 rands per month in South Africa, which makes it almost about 1.5 million rands per year, which is, according to Google, equivalent to $82,000 per year. JavaScript is used by a wide range of professionals and industries. Here are some key groups who use JavaScript. Web developers. Front-end developers use JavaScript to create interactive and dynamic websites, while back-end developers use environments like Node.js. They use JavaScript to build server-side applications. This allows for a unified language across both the client and server sides of web development. Full-stack developers use JavaScript on both the front-end and back-end, creating entire web applications from scratch. JavaScript frameworks like React Native allow developers to build mobile applications for both iOS and Android. While not as common as languages like Python, JavaScript can be used for data visualization and analysis, especially with libraries like D3JS. Companies like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft heavily use JavaScript in their web applications and services. So, if you're interested in learning JavaScript, there are many resources available, including online tutorials, courses, and documentation from sites like MDN Web Docs and W3 Schools. Given its widespread use and versatility, JavaScript is a valuable skill for anyone interested in web development or software engineering. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, Please give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update, I'm uploading new content randomly until I find a suitable time slot, and you won't want to miss what's coming next.